This walkthrough is to demonstrate how to access the interactive parts catalog and search by serial number. Simply click on the interactive parts catalog tile and you'll be directed to the interactive catalog to the main search screen. You will see the search for serial number appears as the default at the top of the screen. You can also choose to search by your McNeilis body serial number. For today's session, we're going to search by the last six digits of a VIN. Note we have a wild card, um, which is an asterisk in front of the search. And this will allow um, the data to be searched for anything preceding the six characters that we enter. You simply type those in and I click, I hit enter on my keyboard. You can also click the search icon. Once that is done, you will see um, a results list. If there are multiple trucks that end in the same serial number, then they will display here for you to select from. Note that you have additional details about the truck, including the model, the uh, body serial number, the complete VIN, the um, body manufacturer, as well as um, the internal description of the truck. We'll click on this arrow on the right hand side to go to the catalog associated with that particular model and year and the truck catalog will display. You'll note that you have a um, index listed on both the left and the right hand side. If you do not like the look of it showing on both, you can collapse one. To collapse the left hand side, you simply click on this um, indicator up here and it will collapse that. To return that left hand menu, you go over to the tree view and click on tree view. You can continue navigating into the uh, additional function groups of the truck. And you can do that again with the left or right hand menu. We're going to navigate down into the arm assembly for this Atlantic front loader. And once we get to the assembly, you will note that the illustration appears. You are able to use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out of the illustration to see that in closer detail. We can also adjust the pane width by doing a left click, hold and drag anywhere on this gray bar once these double arrows appear. You can do that on both sides. Go ahead and narrow that up. <clears throat> if you want to change the parts list position to the bottom of the pane, you simply click on this icon that indicates show parts list at the bottom, and it will move the parts list to the bottom of your viewing area. To return it to the side, simply click on the icon that is titled to show parts list on the right side and it will return to the right-hand side of your screen. If you want to hide the list entirely, click on the Minimize Parts List icon, and it will bring that illustration to the full width of the page. To return your parts list, simply click on the double arrows on the right-hand side of your screen, and your parts list reappears. If you wish to print an assembly, you can click on the print icon here on the left hand menu and you'll be prompted to select the current parts list, which will result in only printing the parts list, the current drawing, which will only print the drawing, the drawing selection. So if you're zoomed way in, then it would only print that specific selection or you can print the drawing and parts list in its entirety. We'll click on that and it is going to load a PDF preview window for you to view. And here you would select your local printer by clicking on print, or you can choose to download it to save that page um, to your desktop or share with another user. Simply click the X to close out of that. 
And then to return to the main search area, you would click this main selection to uh, continue your search within this particular catalog. You can simply click on the title of the catalog at the top and it returns you to the main search for the catalog. By clicking this main selection, you are going to be returned to that search detail screen and to go back to the main search within the electronic parts catalog, you click that home icon next to that search screen. 